Hi, I'm Alan Cylinder. And I'm his daughter, Chelsea Cylinder. We're Cylinder Cylinder. And today we're here to talk about Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. This is the fifth time that Harrison Ford has played Indiana Jones. And it's a good movie. Yeah, I really liked it. And with him co-stars Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Toby Jones, Mads Mikkelsen, and Antonio Banderas. And in this movie, Indiana Jones is looking for Archimedes's dial, which has this power to <laughs> go back in time and rewrite history and things like that. So a lot of people are after this. It starts off in 1939 when Hitler is rising to power and you see a de-aged Harrison Ford. And then it goes forward to 1969 where we have an older Harrison Ford. The de-aging at the beginning of this film is one of the great special effects probably that I've seen. It's incredible what they're able to come up with now mm -hmm. in terms of de-aging on the screen. Yeah. This is an enjoyable movie with lots of set pieces. It's not 100% compelling, but it gets better as it goes along, I thought. And the set pieces actually are good right from the start, and they never stop. There's a couple that I really like. There's one involving Harrison Ford riding a horse oh, that's through New good. York. That's very that's good. <laughs> yeah. And the whole finale is terrific. So if you like big movies, and this is a really big movie, and you like Indiana Jones movies, you're going to like this, I think. It's great to see Harrison Ford back as Indiana Jones. Really, for me, that was the best part of the whole thing, is just getting to watch him do this again. And I actually don't agree that it gets better as it goes along. I thought there were really good things all throughout from start to finish. I did think that the movie felt a little long. There were sequences that I did feel could have been shorter. It is quite long. It's about two and a half hours. It could have been shorter. Yeah, but the whole thing is overall very enjoyable. I really liked Phoebe Waller-Bridge, too. I thought she was very right for this role. I had some problems with her initially, but ultimately I thought she worked. They also throw this kid in for no reason but for the demographics of maybe young boys going to the movies. They want to identify with a young kid. He seems to be purposeless through a lot of the movie, but ultimately he works out okay, too. <laughs> it's not that the film gets better as it goes along, but everything kind of works out by the time it's over, I thought. Yeah, I mean, I thought everything was working all through. I don't know. I thought it was fun. I liked it. I liked it, too. Yeah. There's no question. The villains in this story are really good as well. Yeah. Mads they're... Mikkelsen is very good, but even some of the lesser people who are just kind of like wallpaper villains, it's really pretty well done. James Mangold, the director, has taken the reins from Steven Spielberg, who did the first four, and he does a very good job. And to hear the John Williams score is always a pleasure as well. Yeah, you got to hear that theme song. This is currently playing in theaters, and I would give this movie three and a half cylinders. I would also give this movie three and a half cylinders. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. This is Alan Cylinder. And Chelsea Cylinder. Saying see you with the movies. Bye.